Hey everyone, it's Christina from American Root Flower Farm. I'm gonna start some seeds. Uh, it's March, zone 9B. My hands are already dirty. Lovely. Uh, I'm gonna start them in some trays. And these humidity domes that I have laying around. They're, I think they'll work great. Dang it, Dexter. I think they'll work great because they have these holes on the bottom. Well, this would be the top, but I'm gonna use it as the bottom. So they've got these vents on the bottom to let the water out. And I'm gonna start these and I'm just gonna put them outside in these. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them yet. Hopefully they'll be on a flower farm, but uh, we're not quite there yet. If not, I will plant them somewhere, guaranteed. So let's start loading up soil. Oh, the soil I'm using today is my own mix. It's a mix of compost, perlite, and coconut choir. I also use a horticultural charcoal in it uh, that helps with a perfect environment for uh, good microbials. So I'll be using that. I've got it good and wet. I can't squeeze water out of it. However, it sticks together, it stays together. So that's where you want your soil to be. Uh, I'm also going to use this seed starting mix. It's just some stuff that I had laying around. So I'm going to fill these up and I'll be right back. All right, so I got these all filled up. And then I've got this tray over here. All filled up. So let's get started putting seeds in. I'm gonna label each tray with these stickers. That way I know what they're gonna be, what they are. All right, so I was able to do two trays of each of the Benares Giants that I'm gonna start. Uh, I've got them labeled BP for Benares Purple. So I'll do two trays of those. I'll do two trays of Benares Coral. Two trays of Benares Lilac. Two trays of Benares Wine. And two trays of Benary's Orange. I'm gonna have two trays of Celosia, the Sunday mix. I'm gonna have two trays of the Basil Purple Ruffles. And I'm planting the Full Sun Sunflowers. Full Sun Improved. Buttercream Sunflowers. Stella Sunflowers, Sunfill Purple, Pro Cut Peach, Pro Cut White Light will all go in this big tray. I've got this big tray labeled. Uh, these trays are going to make it easier to uh, put the seeds in. Uh, it's, it's faster to fill with soil. It's going to be faster to lay out the seeds. Uh, I'm just going to lay them on top and then fill the top with soil, cover them with soil. So I'll be back when I'm done with that. I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. The Pro Cut Peach Sunflowers are actually like a peach color. The seeds, they're very peach-like. So I was able to get about 15 zinnias into each tray. Uh, that spacing is probably about an inch apart. I got three across 
and five long. And so 15 in each tray. And there was two of each tray of Baneris, so that's 30 for both trays. Um, and then the sunflowers, let me flip it around sunflowers, and show you. I got about 30 of each type that I planted. Oh, here you can see the peach. See the color difference? It's crazy. Tray of Myra, I just pressed those into the soil. I'm not going to cover that. You can't hardly see the seeds, but here's a seed here. So that was the My Myra amaranth. And then the celosia, these were pelted. So those yellow spots, those are the seeds. And I got two trays of the celosia. Okay, so it's actually two days later. My phone died. And uh, let me show you what's um, happened with the seeds since I planted them. So I actually decided to put them, to keep them in the house instead of putting them outside. Um, I just put them on my seed shelves um, under some grow lights. Um, so I have all the uncovered ones, all the seeds that I did not cover with soil. So the celosia, the amaranth, and the basil are all under the grow lights. The basil is actually doing stuff. You can see that the seeds are like glowing now. They're turning whitish, so they're about to sprout. Um, and then the um, Baneri's Giants under lights. I have them over here. However, they're not under lights. Um, I covered them with just a little bit of soil on top with about a quarter inch of soil on top. I make sure they're still moist and, um, yeah, that's it. I'll keep you updated when they are actually sprouting. So that's it for planting the seeds and getting them started indoors. Stay dirty, my flower friends. Keep your hands dirty.